Yeah, and but, Antonio last week uh, let us know that he was uh, uh, going to retire. Okay. Uh, he said his body was breaking down. Okay. And uh, we wish him all the best. He was a great friend of ours. Uh, we're happy that we were able to fight for him right. and get him his biggest paydays after the incident with the Mosley fight. Yeah. And we wish him all the luck in the world. Yeah, it's been kind of a hard couple years for him from the, the hand wrap scandals to his eye. When you saw him in the ring in his rematch with Cotto and the fight with Pacquiao, did you kind of understand maybe he wasn't the same fighter? Could you see or? Not necessarily. Uh, I think that the beating that he took with Pacquiao really took a lot out of him. Okay. And then with Cotto, I think the stoppage was a little too early. Okay. But uh, uh, he was certainly losing the fight up to that point. And when did you first have an interest in Margarito? What was the earliest time where you started working with him? This goes back years and years. Right. Uh, and I forget who he fought. He, uh, he's been with us for a long, long time. And I really, Bruce Trampler would know better when we started with him, but it was a long time ago. His greatest victory was the first Miguel Cotto fight, a pretty special night at MGM Grand in Vegas, July 2008. What do you remember most about that upset for him? Well, I thought Cotto was winning that fight pretty well. Yeah. And then uh, when Cotto ran out of gas, uh, Miguel came on and took him apart. Gotcha. But up until maybe the end of the ninth round, it was all Miguel's fight. Gotcha, man. Well, thanks a lot, Bob.